Hello, YouTube. We're thinking about doing daily vlogs. Well, we're not exactly thinking about it. We're kind of doing it. Yeah, we're going to start doing it today, actually. Um, Kira broke up with me. <laughs> I guess you can say I'm just feeling lost. Like I said, not sure what direction to go in. I I'm having a lack of motivation with everything. Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. Today, we are going to be talking about the channel OK Baby. This is a family channel that I have made a video about recently because Oscar and Kira, the parents on the channel, have recently announced that they have broken up. I made a video on it when they first announced this because there was a lot of conversation happening. People had been wondering if these two had been broken up for a while because they hardly posted together in December and Kira had been liking breakup quotes on Instagram. And once they did make the actual announcement that they were done, the video that they made was really strange and people felt like it was kind of off and it went viral. People who didn't watch them or see their channel before, or know who they were, were chiming in, giving their input on their relationship and things got extremely messy very quickly. The two of them recently gave a update on life in a new video that they shared on their YouTube channel because they are still doing YouTube. And they even discussed how a lot of people have been commenting on their relationship and their situation. There's been a lot of people who have made videos about them and what's going on with them, analyzing them and their character and all that stuff. And people that have no idea who they even are are making these comments to which when they were giving their update, they were kind of talking about how strange it is that people People who didn't know about their channel were chiming in, acting as if they like had seen every video that they had posted and know everything about their relationship. And Kira says that that has been super overwhelming. On top of that, we have the world giving their opinion. A lot of people that know us, a lot of people that have no idea about us. Which I actually don't mind. I like I like seeing new perspectives and I like understanding yes. what, what or, or thinking or seeing things that I didn't even think of. So. I agree, but I think that the people that have no idea about our situation commenting becomes overwhelming and silly. And especially people who have not been through something like this, I feel like you just don't know. And that can be, on my end, it's very frustrating. The crazy thing is I've been watching their videos for a very long time, not so much in the recent years, but when they first started their channel and they had their son Levi, I was watching their channel. So to see them break up and then to see everybody start commenting on them, I was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Everybody knows OK Baby now. But it's really sad to see how YouTube and being a family channel, how it all works, because obviously they are broken up. They're no longer in a relationship together, but they're going to be in each other's lives because they have kids. So they're going to co-parent, but this isn't going to be a normal co-parenting relationship because of the fact that they have a family channel. They run a business together. They rely on each other to make money. And this is just another one of those conversations that people have been having in the last couple of months, honestly, with the topic of family channels and how family channels are kind of scary in a way. I mean, there's a lot of different things that people have said about family channels in terms of people relying on their children to make content, people exploiting their children. Things get very messy because you're reliant on this family unit to make videos. So what happens when the family falls apart? That's really a, a question that a lot of people have been having in terms terms of OK Baby and what's going to be happening for the future of their channel because neither one of them have jobs outside of YouTube. Their channel is very large. They get consistently really good views that can hold their family together. So with them not being a couple anymore, living under the same roof, vlogging together every day is still going to be something that they're going to have to do if they're going to continue to make money online. So in this video, they were going to be updating people on the future of their YouTube channel. And as I mentioned, when they first posted their breakup video with so many people making comments about the way that Kira was acting, she was getting a ton of hate for the demeanor, the way that she was making jokes during that video, that she said it's affected her so much to the point that when they sat down to record this update for everybody, they actually recorded a different version of it at first, but Kira said she didn't talk at all while they were filming it because she was just so scared about what people were going to say about her. She was just already thinking about the comments. So she just kind of shut down when they were filming it. So they had to refilm it. Guys, let's take it easy on her. She's, she's, she's gotten enough, okay? You know, fun fact, yesterday we filmed this video and I just sat there because I don't want to like 
you know. Yeah. And Oscar the whole time was talking and then he's like, what's wrong with you? Like, yeah, why like, did you and in this video, they were saying in terms of their life, they planned to live together. Their plan was even though they were broken up, they were going to live together in this house. They bought this house and it was financially smart for them to still continue to live together and also make videos together. And they were just going to switch off days as to who was going to be responsible for taking care of the kids that day. But Oscar said that Kira decided it actually wasn't a good idea to do that and that she wanted to move out and thinks that they should live separately. They said that the only thing that they were in conflict about really was the living situation because Kira wanted to move out of the house. She wanted to take the equity out of the house, which Oscar does not want to do, but he says it is her money too and she has every right to do it. Obviously it sucks because I think they were very close to being financially free, like having all their cars paid off, having the house paid off, and and then for this to happen, that really does suck. But I definitely do agree with what they're saying that living separately is probably what is best for them. They can come together and make content together, but them being under the same roof, trying to move on from each other is probably not the best. And Kira says that it is the better option for their friendship and for co-parenting and for them not to be arguing in front of the kids. So in terms of their YouTube channel though, they are in agreement that they are going to share the channel. They're going to continue to do business together. They said that they still want to vlog together. They want to run the channel together. They want to vlog with the kids on this channel and it's still going to be a family channel. And it honestly does sound like the channel is going to be very heavily reliant on the children because of the fact that they're not together anymore. And the only thing that they are going to be filming on the channel is them with their kids or them together doing a family day with the kids. But they're mainly going to be posting on their own separate channels. So Kira has a second channel where she's been posting mommy content on there, cleaning videos, just a bunch of random stuff. She's had this channel for a really long time. So she has over 800,000 subscribers on this channel. She's going to be just fine. Oscar just made a channel for himself since the breakup and he's on the road to 100K subscribers right now. So they're both going to be posting individual content, but on their family channel with their most subscribers, their moneymaker, they're going to be posting with the kids together. They did say that in terms of the kids, they were going to keep their situation private in terms of custody and they weren't really going to be sharing videos of them telling their kids that they're not together or things like that. They're trying to protect them from the situation even though it is such a public breakup and it is a family channel and they are on the channel and basically the whole thing is run because of the kids. Like us telling the kids all those types of things. Yeah, which we I already would, did tell them. Yeah, I would like to keep that yeah, well, more to us. Yeah, that's fair. So as much as we're going to give updates, I think that the kids' privacy on this is important. Yeah, for sure. I certainly couldn't imagine being in a situation like this where you're literally breaking up with someone and you're still coworkers to the point where you're running a business together that is reliant on your family being a family, even though you guys aren't really a family anymore. I mean, they're technically family, but not in the same way that they were making content before. Obviously the dynamic is very different now. And in a recent video on their channel, the video was titled Stress is Keeping Me Awake. And Oscar admits that he is stressed out about the future. He's stressed out about the future of his career. He's super unmotivated. He doesn't want to pick up the camera. I'm more stressed about the direction I'm going in. Not really sure like where my career is going to go. Um, not really sure I'm going to figure all these things out. And that for some reason is causing me more anxiety than I feel like anything else really. I guess you can say I'm just feeling lost. Like I said, not sure what direction to go in. I'm having a lack of motivation with everything. Workouts have been more difficult. I haven't been really wanting to pick up the camera or execute the amount of discipline and work ethic that I need to make a good video. And maybe it has to do with this sleep problem, you know? Maybe I'm lacking sleep and so it's making everything in my life kind of like less meaningful. I don't know, dude. Definitely has to do with things that have gone on recently. I mean, I can't imagine, like it's gotta be super hard to film with your family being happy when things are really kind of falling apart behind the scenes, yet you really need to make it work and you need to keep up with the content. And he also said that they were going to be selling one of their trucks because they need the money. It's just a really hard and sad situation, especially for people that have watched them for a very long time. I think a lot of viewers are also just like experiencing this change and 
it's just crazy obviously family channels are something that is so new still online they've been around for a while but situations like this don't happen all the time and we're kind of seeing the repercussions of what it actually means to make your family your job and there's a lot of things that are being said about that so that's pretty much the situation with ok baby and their channel the future of their channel what they're planning on doing how they're going to continue filming i want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.